Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing your love reading for the month of June 2023. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, how they are feeling and the actions they plan on taking, as well as singles towards the end. All right, Sagittarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Cross watchers could be vice versa. If it does not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and take a look. What is this person's feelings? The person on your mind. What are their feelings? Can I close here? Can I clear messages? What is this person's feelings for Sagittarius? All right. So, Sagittarius, you have divine timing, mirroring, and free will. So it looks like a decision needs to be made. That's the energy I'm picking up on. Somebody here has free will. Somebody's like, well, I can go this way. I can go that way. I can decide this. I can decide that. I feel that your person right now is trying to make a decision when it comes to you. They could be mirroring your energy. So like if you're acting a certain way, they're kind of just following that. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and dig further. Let's see what this is all about. Tell me about this person's feelings for Sagittarius. Sky Angels, Holy Spirit, can you hear messages? Okay, secrets came out. Something was exposed here. Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm hearing it was that was a close one. Like, that was a close one. I don't know if things almost ended. Maybe things ended due to a secret that came out. Something that was exposed. Or it almost came to an end. I don't know. Take whichever one resonates here. Let's go ahead and dig further. Pisces energy here. What is this person's feelings? Okay, two of cups. So I do feel like this person does feel a spiritual connection with you, Sagittarius. They do have feelings for you. They do love you. But you two may be having a difficult time healing something right now. Things are not balanced in this connection. Someone could have lied or someone could have been acting like they were single. That's the energy I'm picking up on. Let's see. Tell me about this person's actions. What actions does this person plan on, on taking towards Sagittarius? Okay, you have nostalgia, actions, material world, healing. Okay, so... If you are currently with this person, you guys could be having financial issues or financial problems. Okay, same thing, but you know what I mean? Um, something about finances here is very significant. I do feel like the action this person plans on taking is they are going to possibly apologize to you, maybe even like actually cry about something. I see them wanting to heal something with you, Sagittarius, or again, this person may be coming forward and offering you some type of gift like a surprise, something that involves finances. Let's see. All right. Tell me more about the actions this person plans on taking towards Sagittarius. All right. So, five of pentacles in reverse, five of wands in reverse, the lovers. Some of you may be seeing five, five, five a lot, okay? That does talk about changes. I do feel that there is specific or significant changes that will be occurring here for you, Sagittarius, in the month of June. Um, this could have started happening around May. Something significant could have happened in May. I feel that with the lovers card in reverse, I feel like this could talk about... There's like a disconnect here between you two. Like I'm feeling like a disconnect or a bad choice being made, a bad decision or just a decision not being made at all. Like somebody kind of avoiding making a decision or a choice here. Let's see, tell me more. I feel like this person doesn't want to argue with you. They don't want to have conflict. Action this person plans on taking towards Sagittarius. Six of Wands. You could be dealing with someone who gets a lot of attention. 
or who works in the public eye, something about the community. Okay, yeah. So I do feel like there is some sneaky energy, Sagittarius. I have to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and clarify this in a bit. Seven of Swords. You do have the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Judgment. So I do feel like this person is going to want to come forward, want to come towards you to possibly reconcile with you or fix the situation. But my only concern is that the Seven of Swords is here. So I do feel like this person is keeping something from you. Let's see. Tell me more. I feel like this person might have two decisions, like a decision to make between two people, places, or things. Take it how it resonates here. Let's see. Tell me about the seven of swords for the action this person plans on taking towards Sagittarius, June 2023. Got angels, Holy Spirit. Okay, this has something to do with um, the devil card under the deck. Could be about a Capricorn here. Um... Okay, so Sagittarius, this could have something to do with destiny. I feel like something, destiny has a lot to do with the situation. Something is chaotic in this person's energy. Six of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups. This person could be having some type of regret or something about the past. There could be a Capricorn involved in this, this situation. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, or I don't know why I'm feeling Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. This person could have some sort of addiction or they could be feeling bound to something from their past. Tell me more. What is this about? Tell me what is this about here? What is this seven of swords about? For the action this person plans on taking towards Sagittarius. Yeah, it looks like there could have been a lack of closure here with someone from the past. They could be keeping this from you. I feel like this person's lacking peace or like they're lacking something. Or they could be, again, if this has nothing to do with the third party, it could be an addiction. It could be something that's keeping this person stuck. That's keeping this connection kind of stuck here. Yeah, some of you could be connecting with a Virgo. Yeah, I can't make this up. Four of Swords in reverse, the Hermit, the Ten of Cups, and all in reverse. So I feel like right now maybe things are not... Like, if you're with this person, like if you are in a relationship, if you live with them, if you're married to them, whatever the situation may be, you guys could be having problems due to something from your person's past. Something to do with your person's past. Maybe your past could very much be. But something here is keeping this person, you know, staying up late at night, feeling a lack of peace. Um, it's causing a lot of disruptions between you guys. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in reverse. This person or your person may be feeling bound to something or someone still. There is a need to heal. Maybe that's why that came out here. But I do feel like this person wants to work things out with you, Sagittarius. But again, something about regret and something about this person lacking peace. About something that has to do with their past. Let's see. Give me one more. Give me one more here. Apologize for the background noise, guys. Just ignore it. See, tell me more about this person on Sagittarius mind. Tell me more about this person. What do you need to tell me, Spirit? Guiding the Holy Spirit. Please give me clear messages. Yeah, there's something here that they still need to heal, guys. I can't make this up. The temperance. One second. <sighs> yeah, I apologize for that noise, guys, but it is what it is. So I feel like there's something here that this person needs to forgive. Either forgive another individual, forgive themselves for something that they, um, from something about the past, okay? With the temperance here, that is your energy, Sagittarius. I feel like there's healing that needs to be done, either between you two, or maybe you need to do heal something from your past. Maybe they need to heal something from their past. But I do feel that, um, you know, that that's what I'm seeing here. Let's go ahead 
and see what this person wants to tell you, Sagittarius. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Can I just Holy Spirit to make their messages? What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? All right, you have in my feelings right now. You are consuming my thoughts. One more. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? I want to reunite with you. So some of you may not be with this person. Okay, under the deck you do have stress, stress the F out. Let's see, give me two more. Kind of just Holy Spirit. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? It's painful to not be with you right now, and I don't know why I can't stay away from you. Okay, so yeah, there could have been like a break between you two, a breakup, separation, maybe because, again, maybe someone still needs to heal something or let go of something from the past or handle something from the past. Could be an addiction, you know, could be a person, place, or thing. But that's what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. Feel free to check your other placements if, you know, this didn't resonate for you. Let's go ahead and move on to singles, Sagittarius singles. What can Sagittarius expect in love? June 2023, Sagittarius singles, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the hair font, and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you could be reconciling with someone from your past. All right, you do have Taurus energy, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, yeah, or you could be meeting someone in the community, somewhere at someone, ugh, I'm sorry guys, someone at your job. Or someone that, I don't know, I feel like someone in your community, okay? Maybe in the church. That was a really random message. But that's what I'm seeing here. Um, you know, very strange message that I'm getting, Sagittarius. You'll know it's this person if, like, they have family in different states or country. Like, their whole family lives somewhere else or something like that. Very specific message. Um... I do feel like there is potential for long-term commitment here or marriage with this person. Please okay, tell me more, Sagittarius singles, June 2023. All right, Six of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So some of you may need to make a decision between two people. Maybe you have two options here. I do feel like there's a Gemini Libra Aquarius here that stalks you that probably will reach out to you. They're very nostalgic. They're missing you. You could also be meeting a soulmate. This could be a younger air sign. Yeah. Some of you have options. Seven of Cups. Some of you could be feeling confused in the month of June between two people. Maybe even three. Tell me more. Sagittarius. I love it, like, as soon as I'm about to finish the reading, that's when the noise stops, like, really? <laughs> Anyways, um, the hangman, seven of pentacles, and you have the queen of cups, the hermit. Okay, so you could be meeting a Virgo, a Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I'm also seeing water here. It could be specifically a Pisces. All right, I do feel that um, you will be, like, spending some time alone here in June, Sag, like, really contemplating, thinking... Uh, trying to gain some type of enlightenment about something or maybe someone. I do feel like someone's going to come in here with a love offer with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, some of you could be traveling as well. Let's see, three more. What can Sagittarius expect? Sagittarius singles. Oh, the Empress. Five of Cups in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, if you're not looking to get pregnant, you know, just make sure you're taking the necessary precautions. I do see pregnancy here for some of you. If you are pregnant, congratulations. Um, I do feel that you're letting go of past disappointments, past, past regrets, uh, past pain here. I feel like some of you are like really... I don't know, like either saving money this month or not really in the mood to go out, really focused on your healing, really focused on your health. Focus on like just taking some time for yourself. I don't know, it's really weird. Some of you could be traveling for work as well. 
Yeah, but that's what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. If this did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.